Hello everybody, Dmartin95. Today we're going to be doing a video on how to test your compression to make sure you've got good uh, PSI going on inside your cylinder. Okay, in order to do this test, it's quite simple. All you need is a compression tester. For what I'll be using to check the compression is the Bosch uh, PSI tester. It tests from 0 to 300. This is also the same thing as Actron. Bosch acquired Actron not too long ago. I'll be using the metal adapter and the 8 millimeter tip. Now, uh, something I want to point out here. This one right here is brand new. I just bought it from Harbor Freight. Tested three different scooters and it was testing at 90 to 100 PSI. About 90 to 110 on different scooters. Well, that's too low, and this scooter has only got 1,300 miles, and it runs absolutely beautiful. I just adjusted the valves, so I knew that was too low. So, even though this was brand new, it was determined to be a faulty uh, pressure tester, and it is. So, I'll be going with the much higher quality Bosch. Now, this Bosch does come with a rubber hose like the other one that I just had in my hand. And it's probably what you'll have to use if the plastic's still on the scoop. However, in this case, I have the plastic off and everything's easily accessible. Now, to check your compression, uh, the first step you got to do, you have to remove your coil. This is your coil. Set it off to the side. And you have to pull out your spark plug. Just get a spark plug wrench and just pull it on out. It's real simple to... Uh, do this part Okay, and you always want to use a spark plug socket because eh, It's not showing up inside the camera But there's a little rubber boot in there that grabs a hold of the spark plug and pulls it out of the hole for you You can use a, a Regular socket it, it'll fit but it doesn't have the nice little rubber boot Now something to point out down here. You've got a little rubber seal when you tighten this into your spark plug hole, do not over tighten it. It just needs to be hand tightened or you'll damage the seal. It also might be a good idea to put a little bit of oil on there. So, let me get this screwed in. All you do is stick it down in the hole and tighten it on down. Okay. Now remember what I said. You don't want to go too tight. Alright. Okay. Now when you test the compression, you want to make sure that you have the uh, throttle all the way open. So, I got the throttle all the way open. Brake held. And it leveled out. Do it one more time real quick. Okay. Now, as you can see, we are right, right about 170. Actually, that's about 172 PSI, which is actually really, really good. Well, actually, those are 30, so... Uh, you know, in between the 50 and 180. So, it's right around 170, just about. No, about 168 is where I'm testing. If I'm reading this thing right. Next, it would be 150, 155, 160, 165, 170, 175, 180. Yes, yeah, so I am at roughly 168 PSI. Which is right where, right around where you want to be. You want to be, you know, somewhere around, uh, anywhere, 175 is good. 190 is perfect. I have a little Chilton book that I found. It's not a Chilton, it's a Hayes repair manual for Chinese scooters. So, let's release the pressure. 
And that's it. That's all you do for a compression test. I'll do it one more time. One sixty eight again. Perfect every time. All right. So let's do something here real quick. All right. So anyways, that will be it for this video. I was going to hook up the Harbor Freight compression tester, but it wasn't fitting on there. So I'll go ahead and hook the coil back up. But anyways, testing the compression is very simple and that's how you do it. You always want to be right around 175. That's really great. If you're down at near 100, give it up. The scooter needs new rings or you got bad valves or something else serious is going on. So anyways, uh, if you have any questions about anything you saw in this video, you can hit me up at my forum, www.dansgaragetalk.com. And I look forward to seeing you there. Uh, peace out.